Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and back to the Pale Beyond. So this is um, kind of like a part two <laughs> of last week's video because as if you watched it and you remember, I had to cut that video short. Um, not much, I guess, happened last episode except for the fact that there was a vote. There was a vote for us to be captain. We won. We got to see who voted for and against us and who abstained. Um, and then uh, we actually did find out why certain people abstained i can't remember we find out more um but that kind of answered that question for a few people we you know got our hands in a little bit into um you know assigning people to to do certain jobs i have to be a little bit more careful because i did run into it an instance probably not last episode but before where you know like i needed people <laughs> um so i keep my eye on that uh, i think i'll do a little bit like better on the whole decorum thing but i'll still need to keep my eyes open on that one as well so after we had the vote um i think we were just now going back into the captain's cabin to um to handle some requests so let's just go ahead and get back into it uh let's talk to templeton i guess there should be no hesitation shaw you are the captain now and you must carry that authority instantly it's best that we carry out the daily routine as normal so that you are capable in this role we should take the day's request immediately before seeing to our resources. Oops. Well, I already did that. <laughs> ah, my bad. You saw the duties of the captain firsthand while serving, Hunt. Oh, while serving, Hunt. You're acting captain now. It's time to take up the mantle. A line's already forming at the door. No surprise, given the circumstances. Take them as you may, captain. I feel like I was taking them. He was having me do everything. Let's just do left to right. Talk to um, Kurt and Cordell. Captain, I brought the kennel master with me. Oh, Captain, I brought the kennel master with me. This is something you would bother. Oh, you will both want to hear. I have a strong suspicion on what this matter is. I was planning to speak with the captain on it myself. What did it happen, Stance, then? Captain, I know these conditions well. I've seen them before. Any idea of the temperance being free of the ice anytime soon is a pipe dream. We need to press on. We need to become aware of our new environment. Trust me, Captain. We will be living off it for quite some time. Oddly pessimistic of you, Kurt. And what of you, Cordell? Do you agree? You're suggesting we live off the ice. Um. And what of you, Cordell? Do you agree? Ooh, we got plus five loyalty. I guess we asked um, her opinion. Indeed. The dog sleds will need to be exercised regularly. And there's no better way to engage in hunting than to engage in hunting. We're quite lucky despite the circumstances. Now the peak time for hunting and navigation. And navigation? Traversing the ice may be a possibility in the future. We need to be prepared for that. But to survive out here, we need to know what lies ahead. These are uncharted territories, Captain. We have no idea where we are. Your current rations are not set to last forever either. Send any hunting party to me as you please. My dogs and I will ensure their survival. Porto exits. The same sentiments for myself and any scouting team. If you wish the great unknown to be braved and chartered, I'm your man. We need to know what lies ahead. Keep looking forward. Okay, so... All right. What is all of this? What's all this gray grayness? Does that mean? Wait a minute. Are they freezing? What's this grayness? What's all this gray? Maybe I do need to stop them from freezing. Okay. After this conversation, let's go check on their um their status because they're not looking too good. Oh wait, they might be unavailable. These are missing. They might be um they might have jobs right now. Okay, we'll check. Hammond. Saving that boiler was only the start of our troubles. Have you seen the state of this bloody ship? It has certainly seen better days. She's bleeding in the lower decks. I believe the older Stoke is attempting to rectify that. We need to, we need to stockpile as much fuel as we can. If the furnace runs out by the end of the week, we die. If we spend too long on the ship, we die. If we don't stockpile enough fuel for the winter, we die. Aye. Get me some coal. Get it in the furnace. I already did that. I'm afraid he's not wrong. That coal bunker is our only source of fuel for the time being. Until we can procure alternatives, we should assign a crew to shoveling whenever possible. 
Okay, so we gotta go take care of that because I don't remember if we assigned anyone. What's up, Junior? Y'all. The ice looks unbudging, doesn't it? it? It would seem that way, yes. Crew seems to think so. They think if we don't intervene, the temperance will never get freed. If you're suggesting breaking the ice, I can assure you that won't work. I'm not. They are. No intervention is going to break up the ice enough to free this ship. Putting others to work on that is simply a waste of manpower. I maybe. They're scared, though. Worried. They just want to feel like they've tried something. If it will raise spirits, it's worth the attempt. Templeton's right. We cannot waste crew on pointless tasks. Ugh! I'm at 65 decorum, y'all. I need to raise this, um, um, some spirits. So let's just say it's worth it. Um, let's get... Let's put these, uh, people who are loyal to Grimly. Y'all go do it. Since y'all wasn't even trying to help me. <laughs> y'all wasn't trying to help me. We put three on there. Four. Is that enough? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I got Templeton's loyalty decreased, but we got some decorum. Hey! I don't care about Templeton right now. I'll see you for dinner, Shaw. Don't forget the hoosh pot needs fed. I already did that. Finish request. I mean, whatever. Before dinner, you should see to sending out our first sledding team. I also believe it's time you gave our good doctor a visit. We'll still have wounded from the night of the aura. Oh, yeah. Their wounds will need attended to before they're fit to work. And I doubt I need to remind you of this. But we need every hand available. Don't be afraid of assigning my team for some manual labor. They'll complain, but they'll work. Okay. So, how do we know what our... Like, I wish we could tell what our, um, oh, here, okay, we can, we can tell. Ooh, it's real low. Ooh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So the sailors, we're not getting, we're not seeing any type of decorum with the sailors. None with the scouts, none with the engineers, none with the scientists. So only the specialists. Dang, so we're, oof, we're, oh gosh, Grimly is like low, low. Junior's low, Templeton's not too bad. Kasha, I don't know what that means, but okay. Kasha's pretty high. Like, I don't know what the colors mean. I guess if the yellow, okay, the yellow might be good. We're good with the doctor. Why would Cordal be low? And it was really good with Kurt. Thank you, Kurt. Yeah, uh, she's loyal to herself. Yo, this is intense. I don't know, y'all. All right, so let's go take some hand, uh, handle some things. Um, do I need to go in here? No. Uh, let's go over here some stuff. I can't believe Hunt's gone. What happened? Who knows? He was drunk. Whatever he was thinking, he definitely wasn't in the right mind. And what about Smurf and Corvid and Joe? Who knows? Corbett owes me five gilst. I don't think you'll be seeing it soon. Eh. Uh, so now we're listening to Miss Gloss. You did seem familiar. I finally placed you. You have, have you? Yes, I remember seeing you compete. Soren Kilp Kilper, you were quite the gymnast. I'm surprised to see you in this line of work. Not too many gymnasts carry long careers. You did quite well when I saw you at the summer games. I recall you placed, oh, I recall you placed. I don't recall winning. Okay, look at the map. So we have, ooh, so, oh, so we can tell them to go scout. Ooh, okay, let's, let's click this one. Assign a scout to instantly reveal the map location. All right, let's send out Killsley. Minus three? Oh, minus three dogs. Okay, so we lost three dogs. That's fine. And we can only assign one. That's okay. 
Ooh, uh, penguins. Like, what does that mean? Assign any amount of people to gain that many animals resource of items at the end of the week. Oh, okay. So can I send, I can't send any scouts. Oh, okay. So y'all, this is where it comes in. Shoot, I probably should have um not sent out all them people. <laughs> I should have only sent out like three of them. Cause now I ain't got nobody. Okay. He said we could send out some of his people though. But let's not do that. Let's send out. I'm going to send out Cavity. I'm going to send out Cavity. I might be doing this all wrong, y'all. <laughs> Cavity are marked down to hunt for the week. Oh, no. That's all I could do? Oh, no. Okay, I could do more. Okay. Oof. Um... Maybe you can send out one more person. I mean, they're scouts. Why not just send them out? Confirm. There's some seals. So. I might send out. Ugh. Yeah, that was a mistake. <laughs> I shouldn't have sent out four people, y'all. They'll probably hate me if I send them out. You know what? Mr. Gloss. I'm saying out Mr. Zach. Zach, go on ahead. Go on ahead. All right, I'm going back. Man, Ooh, all right. <laughs> they said go see the doctor and we're down to only two dogs. You enter the ship's infirmary. Your presence seems to startle the young man inside. The rattle of drop four steps ringing through the room. Oh, goodness. It's you. Um, Captain now, isn't it? You're the doctor, I take it. You seem irritable, Captain Shaw. Robin Shaw, it, it is good to meet you. We met him already, though. We already know they're the doctor. I mean, let's just humor them. Let's just say you're the doctor, I take it. Oh, no. How? Really? I'm... <sighs> So we just lost some decorum with the doctor. Whatever. Hmm? Oh, right. Yes, I am. Why do we lose decorum? I mean, a loyalty. That was... <clears throat> Dr. Arthur um, Nutley. Dr. Nutley. Dr. Arthur Nutley. That's it. It's good to meet you, Arthur. Are you having a spot of bother, Nutley? Collect your thoughts. It's no good having a physician who cannot compose himself. Let's just say it's good to meet you, Arthur. Nutley gives a weak smile. Thank you. It's good to properly meet you. I suppose I seem a little scatterbrained at the moment. It is... Oh, it isn't the norm. Recent circumstances have been trying. And the inclination towards seasickness is no help. Um, Higgs. The storm burns they suffered from the furnace are severe. If you let me take a look, I can do my best to alleviate their pain. Is there nothing more you can do? They'll pull through. This crew's a tough one. Do you have any experience something like this? Um, let's say there's nothing more you can do. Oh shoot! I knew it. I knew. I would. Oh. <laughs> I knew it. I told myself that. Like, just take a think about it for a second. Oh, I'm trying. I wish there was, but there's no cure for these kinds of injuries. I'm afraid this is the extent. At this point, all we can do is wait. I knew that. Like. As soon as I clicked the button, I knew it was bad. Nutley lets out a nervous cough. Captain Hunt, he... Do, do you think he may still be out there? There's a chance, however slim. Did you know Hunt well? It doesn't matter, I'm Captain now. Let's say, did you know Hunt well? Not at all. Rather, he knew my... 
That's not important. Apologies, I'm rambling. I suppose you want an update on the crew. They seem to be fraying well. All things considered, a report would be nice. Have you had time to look at them? Oh, man. I'm just going to pick have you had time to look at them. Time enough. Mostly scrapes and scuffs. As for the dogs, you're better asking, um, uh, well, the kennel master. You mean Cordal? That's fine. I wouldn't expect you to be a veterinarian. You sound afraid. Let's say you mean Cordal. Yes, Cordal. I haven't taken well to the dogs. I'm unsure how to carry myself amidst, mo amidst most people, and animals are more quick to judge. And Corda herself is harsher still. But you can rely on me for any human medical issues. Nelly pauses for a moment. Is everything, um, good? I, I mean, is someone coming to the rescue us? No, it's just us. Everything's under control. I won't lie. We're in a difficult situation. I'm going to need your help. I'm going to say I won't lie. We're in a difficult um, situation here. I'm going to need your help. Yay, you've got five loyalty. Then you can count on my help. Nutley keeps his head low. Is there anything I can do for the crew? All right, the med bay, ask the scientist to cook up medical comfort. Use medical comfort to instantly cure all crew in the med bay. What's the med bay? After... People are assigned to the med bay. They will be cured of all status effects by the end of the week. Okay. I guess put him in the med bay. Everybody else is fine. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really matter because we can only put one person in there anyway. So yeah. And then I guess we don't we don't have any medical comfort. So let's ask the scientists to cook them up. Ooh, I'm glad I didn't send them out. Let's just do one. We're gonna ask um Mr. Gloss to instantly gain one medical comfort. It can be used to, okay to immediately cure all people in the med. Okay, yeah, so we only need one. That's fine. Oh wait, I need oh gosh, I need three. No, and I just sent oh I just sent dude out. You need three. Oh no. Okay. So I guess he's just gonna have to wait to the end of the week. Me? I didn't know. I didn't know. Okay. Now I know. Now I know. Let's head upstairs real quick. All right, nothing up there. Head downstairs. Uh, any more food in here? So I can assign people to give. I mean, it's the it's midday. So maybe, all right. So Mr. Gloss got some food. We got one tin of food. But he's a scientist. I wouldn't want to keep him in there if they get to work. I got to think this through next week, y'all. So can I feed the hoosh? Yup, let's feed the hoosh. You got 20 more. Okay. We got some food in the hoosh. All right. All right, let's call the crew to dinner. Oh, wait. What, what, was I supposed to be clicking on Cordal? Ooh, I don't know. The crew had their meal. Hard. Shall we give a toast to our new captain? Here, here. The crew return to their post. The hammocks are full of are unfurled in preparation for the evening. Despite the time, it is still a bright light outside. All right. Uh, speak to Junior. Evening, Shaw. I'm proud of what I've been able to cook up for the crew lately, considering their rations. Though I do wish I had something better to work with. I'd kill for a good beef steak. Not many cows on the ice. You do excellent work, Junior. You have a knack for this. No use complaining. We have to make do. Let's say you do excellent work, Junior. You have a knack for this. We need to then gain some loyalty. Yay! I've been told. Hunt would say he couldn't eat a bite that wasn't prepared by me anymore. Yes. Uh, let's talk to. Who's over? Let's listen over here. You're a tall one, aren't you? 
Oh, thank you for noticing. Been this big since I was 15. You ever considered doing films? You have a stature for it. Oh, I can't act. Acting isn't part of it. You stand there, cut a nice silhouette, and you'd be a star. That sounds awfully easy, doesn't it? It can be. Okay. <laughs> oh, let's speak to Grimbling. I'm so running over y'all, but I don't care. Whatever. We're going to finish off this week. <laughs> Did you need me for something? I simply wanted to learn more of you. You served the Captain Hunt for quite some time. Tell me about him. The crew seems to like you. I wonder if you have any advice staying on their good side. I'm going to pick that one. Yes! Loyalty! Woohoo! Junior's better with people. I don't know. Be good to them. That's all it takes. Woo! Yes! Glad I picked that. Uh, Anything going on in the lower deck? How come we couldn't assign anyone to get coal? Oh, I can. Okay. Um... Do you have any more engineers left? Let's assign you to get some coal this week. They get to work. Okay. And then let's go into the... Oops. Nope. Not there. Let's go into here. Oh, wait. Hold on. Leave. Uh, What's this? Speak to Hammond. Bloody cold, isn't it, Captain? Don't know how you spend your time away from the furnace. You grow used to it. You're used to the warmth of the furnace. I take it. Or it would have been cold without your hard work, Hammond. Bundle up more then. Oh, let's say it would have been cold without your hand hard work, Hammond. Woo, loyalty! I I know. Yes. All right, so let's go ahead and put um, let's feed the furnace. Got some fuel. All right. We did the fuel again. We. Oh, what's this? Speak to Kasha. Good evening, Captain. I was growing used to sleeping on a moving ship before we became trapped in the ice, you know. Now I think I won't have a good night's sleep until you return to land. I think that's something we can all look forward to. That's a sailor's life. You know what you signed up for. You'll grow used to it. I think I'll say I think that's something we can all look forward to. Yeah, we got loyalty. A good motivation then. I know a hot bath and a warm bed are the first order of business when we return to land. I may stay bundled up for several days. Truly savor it. All right. Okay, so I think we've covered everything. We've talked to all of them. We talked to Junior? I should hit the hay or, well, hammock. Guess there's hay in there. Okay, yeah. All right. Uh... Wait, why does it want us to go downstairs? I don't see anything else to do down here. Do you? Hmm. Like, why is why is this descent to middle deck? Ooh, let's eavesdrop. Awfully loud, aren't they? I don't mind it all that much. They worked hard all day. They're old, their leisure. Those sailors ought to remember. We all need our sleep. Why is that? Inter okay, y'all. I'm going to have to call it an episode because it's a lot. What I might do is if I keep going, uh, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. We're going to keep going. Uh, Let's enter Kurt's room. Evening, Shaw. Old one, isn't it? I used to think I was growing used to the cold. But as years have gone on, the elements have grown harsher on the body. That's to be expected, Kurt. You're getting old. I imagine it's a harsher area than you've ever faced. I'm sure you can handle it, Kurt. Let's say I'm sure you can handle it, Kurt. Yes, and you be right. Five loyalty. We getting good at this. I can still complain every now and then. We getting good at this, y'all. Let's go talk to Templeton. Good evening, Captain. It will be some time before we see rescue. Perhaps you should be endearing yourself to your crew. For now, I'd like to learn more of you. I notice you're quite invested in my cap captaincy. Very well, Templeton. I'll spend more time with the sailors. I'm going to say for now, I'd like to learn more of you. And let's see what happens. Oh, shoot. You need to do that. Yeah, I thought that was going to help me. <laughs> I would prefer you continue to, with our work. Fostering personal relationships is not a concern. 
I should have known. All right, Cordell. Captain Shaw, I presume you're here to see the dogs. Yes, how are they faring? Actually, I was checking on you. You aren't with the rest of the crew. Could they be ill? This might be a bad decision, but I'm going to say yes, how are they faring? They have already acclimated. Oh, acclim acc acc oh my gosh, acclimatized? Oof, though recently they've been exhausted in the need for rest and in need of rest. It's no surprise our conditions keep changing. They grow used to one state before being thrust into another. One refused to eat and has been losing weight rapidly. I assume the change in scenery has affected it. They need their rest, just as any person. They tend to be more reliable, however. Are you speaking from experience, so do you prefer dogs to people? You have to rely on people to man the sleds. There's only one of us after all. One of you after all. Let's say are you speaking from experience? With people or with dogs? Regardless, I would say it's a matter of both. Captain Shaw, you recall my conditions with Hunt, do you not? Like it was yesterday, I may need reminding as it's been some time. I recall them being rather unreasonable. No. Uh, yeah, I remember because she said that she... I don't remember. Let's say I may need reminding. It's been some time. I don't remember. I'm sorry. My demand was that I work here with the dogs. Your people may help with the sleds, but they are not my responsibility. They are not my people. I am holding up my promise with Hunt. I do not intend to join your crew. The dog besides her barks. How long have you been raising dogs? If I get lost on the ice, you're next. You're the next captain, Stanberry. Pet Stanberry and leave. Oh, that's how long you've been raising dogs. A long time, Shaw. I've raised this pack since they were not but pups. In a generation before them. She goes quiet for a moment, petting Stanberry, collecting her thoughts. I wasn't exactly in a financial position to pass on hunts, but I had no intention of leaving all of them out here without me. If I get lost on the ice, your next Captain Stanbury, Pet Stanbury, and leave, I'll leave you to be then. Uh, Pet Stanbury. Oh. Stanbury didn't like us. Let's do it again. Ha! <laughs> the dog arts happily as you ruffle its ears. Oh, okay. Stanbury. The animal looks at you. Pet them. You ruffle their head. Now Stanberry likes us. All right, y'all. It looks like it's time for us to go on. This little thing over here is, is flashing. That means I think it's time for us to go to bed. Even though I don't why don't know why this is all still um flashing. Did we talk to Grimley again? He stares at you before nodding to his hammock. Did that take care of that? Nope. All right. Let's just end the week. Oof, that was a long week, y'all. All right. Uh, yes. Yeah, so one crew member will be cured of their malnourishment, and one will be cured of their freezing. Okay, I didn't know people were freezing. It didn't tell me anybody was freezing, so I didn't know that. Um, we're saved from, I guess, being in starvation for now, and fuel is okay. I guess. Should I go down to one? Since we're okay, like we're not freezing right now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go down to one, y'all. I don't know if it's gonna be a good idea, but nah, that's too close to freezing. We might freeze. Nah, let's go down to half. <laughs> no, it's the two. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Do that. Boom. I'm doing it. Oh, we got no food. Cavity returns from the hunt with one penguin. We got one crab beater shells, seals. The dogs are rested. Another week on the ice, we held up and Tucker was cured of his wounds. Yes. Okay. Start next week. So you probably have to feed the hoosh next week. Two weeks at Temperance Camp. All right. So we got all dogs back. Oh, yes. Saved game to tree. Yes. Okay. All right. That was intense. Y'all, this video is almost an hour. I might... Okay, I'm going to split this up, y'all. I'm going to split this up into two videos because this is a lot. This is a lot. So, um, so Tucker's back to normal. Here we go. Here's Tucker. Awesome sauce. We have all of our crew members back. I got to remember that next time that I need all three scientists for, for Instacure. I need all three of them. 
So maybe I should, if they let me, maybe I should have them do it ahead of time so that one's available. So let's think about that for next time. A hunt still missing. Now we have the penguin that will add to the furnace and the hoosh and the crab eater seal and no new key items. So yeah, anyway, all right, y'all. Well, that is gonna be it. Woof, that was intense. That was intense. I'm probably gonna say that every single, every, uh, blah, 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 every single week. <laughs> but um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Like I said, you know, are there any decisions that I made that you'd have made differently? Let me know. Um, I'll probably have to go in, cut the video in half, and then add a new intro to this one and then a new exit to the last week's. Um, but yeah. Anyway, all right, y'all. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe. If I see more, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.